Okay, guys. Uh, good morning. Welcome to my uh, channel. And uh, I would like to show you this. Um, there might be something wrong with my inverter, the uh, five kilowatts uh, from Signature Solar. Um, I have the five kilowatts uh, inverter, which which is uh, six thousand watts solar, right? And take a look at this one. You see in here on the left side here. Uh, right now, the sun is absorbing uh, is the solar absorbing from the sun is three thousand nine hundred seventy six uh, watts, right? The maximum is uh, about four thousand two hundred watts in the cool day and um, sunny but cool and um, windy, so the panels cool will absorb more. And I totally turn off my grid. So for this one. Right now, I charge my car, so it's um, 2,600 watts, and it's charged to the battery is 837 watts. But the problem is that when um, you see here, the maximum here is 5,000 watts, you see there, right? So... Uh, the upper level, but the allowance is uh, maximum 6,000 watts. But anyway, see here the problem. So when the sun going up there, and it's only, it's only take 3,000 watts. You see 3,000 watt level right there, right? And you cross over, you see right here. It's only max out at 3000 watt or 3100 watt. You see, if we use, if my, this might be my mom or my aunt use it, so it's bump up. So if don't use it, it will stay around 3000 watt right there, you see? So when the using stop is dropped down, the solar also dropped down to, to about 3000 watts, 2915 watts, you see? And when use again down here, it's bump up. But when it's uh, stop using, it's dropped down to 3000 watts. 2709 watts. Okay, so now I come home, I came back home, and I plug it in. I plug in the car, and the solar bump up, you see? So there is something wrong with my inverter. I believe something wrong with my inverter. Either that or um, or I may have some setting wrong. I don't think I said it wrong. Uh, I did it according to other people um, on YouTube and the uh, Signature Solar uh, setting on YouTube. Okay. So when you guys when you guys want to go off grid, if you guys live in remote area in the um, uh, in the camping or whatever, you know, um, urban or however you say it, I don't know, in a jungle or something, then you may want to go with the off grid. But if you live in the city, you may want to buy the system that gives you the on grid because if you got this system that some something wrong with it. See right now it's go up to four thousand watts. See if you if something wrong with your inverter and you have only one inverter, it will you will lose the power right there. You see, if you 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 will lose right there. Now if you are on grid and you hook up with um. You hook up with the uh, 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 um, uh, gas electric company of your state or whatever where or wherever you are. I am in San Diego, California, so the I uh, can hook up with my um, SDGE or for on grid. And when you on grid, the the meter will roll backward, or they have a separate meter, right? Or the same meter but separate setting. It's a smart meter now, so they have a separate setting. And when you use it. When you don't use it, it will the the negative uh, meter uh, number it will go to the uh, the that that number, and then when you use at night time, or when you use more than you using from the solar, 
they will have a, a separate number okay so that i think i believe that would be better because uh when you have a maximum sun and it will absorb you more and when you on when you are um off grid like me and something wrong with your inverter it will only charge to your battery half a uh, half of the um amount of the solar so i have um i have 15 kilowatt which is three of the 5.12 kilowatt 48 volt that i buy from signature solar i can show you guys i can go downstairs and i can show you guys what i have give me a second so you guys have any question right here um let me know oh in the setting they also have in here that you can see the setting that i have i think it's on the right side right here let me check it out um setting right click yes i'll check the agree but but if you want to change the setting from the, from here you will have to you will have to have a password right here have a password right here but i don't know the key uh enter the key to save i don't know the key number to save in there so basically you can see my setting in here that i set according to the instruction um for north america okay so i have this one um right there setting one as a priority charge and 240 volt 60 hertz i don't know how to set it overload restart or temperature restart overload which is like you use more than 5000 watt the system would shut down and to click on restart when it's cooled down it will restart but i don't know how to i i can hit restart right here but it doesn't let me save it here unless i have the keyword or their uh, password or something i don't have the password um so then maximum charge current 50 so probably this is the, the 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 thing that i said wrong right but i don't know how to change this it doesn't let me to change it let, doesn't let me change this in the um in 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 the um um on 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 the inverter charge constant voltage point Okay, so I cannot change this floating error. The float right here and voltage voltage is maximum 58. The floating, I saw people change this to 55 or something, but I cannot change this number either. Uh, maximum AC charge current. Yeah, this one I change, I can change. main main to battery operating point so 50 that like uh, 50 percent like uh, when your when your 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 battery charge back uh, from the utility 50 percent these the 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 um the inverter will boot up again and this one i set it normally set it to 20 but i set down to 16 percent just in case that my mom always use it um, anyway, thank you. Uh, like, subscribe, and uh, please, if you have the code right here on the bottom, let me know. Um, and then maximum charge current, 50. So 50, 50 amp. Is, is that why my solar only charged to 3000 watts, guys? I don't know. Can you let me know? Um, I will show you um, the system that I have just to prove that to you to you guys. Here, so this is a uh, forty-eight volt, right? This is the um, transformer and my uh, breaker. So forty-eight volt, five kilowatts, 
And I have three. So it's supposed to absorb at uh, 5,000 watts, right? But it doesn't. So let me know. Thank you very much. Have a good weekend.